chapter 14 of The Count of Monte Cristo, about a year after the monarchy is restored, the Inspector General of Prisons visits Chateau d'If, and Dantes takes the opportunity to eloquently tell his story, appealing to him for a judge and trial. The inspector promises to review Vifon's notes on the case. Dantes is relieved, thinking that Vifon is on his side. Next, the inspector and the governor go to the cell of Abbe Faria next door. The Abbe tells them about his treasure and offers them a share if they will just set him free. The inspector believes that the Abbe is mad. Later, the inspector checks Dantes' record and sees Vifon's note that Dantes should be kept under the closest supervision. Having been assured by Dantes that he could rely on Vifon's notes, the inspector decides to do nothing. A year later, a new governor is appointed to the prison. Instead of learning the names of the prisoners, he refers to them by their cell numbers. Dantes is number 34. In chapter 15 of The Count of Monte Cristo, Dantes suffers terribly from solitary confinement in the dungeon. He prays with no results. He isn't even allowed to have books. With nothing to occupy his mind, he rages against his enemies. He thinks death would be too kind a punishment for them. They must suffer as he is suffering. Dantes has been imprisoned for more than six years when he decides to stop eating. Feeling near death one day, he hears a scratching sound. He decides to start eating again so he can live to figure out what's causing it. He surmises that it's another prisoner, possibly digging an escape tunnel. Dantes breaks his earthenware pitcher and uses pieces of it to dig at the wall behind his bed. Using the metal handle from his soup pot, he digs for days. When he encounters a beam that blocks his way, he suddenly hears the voice of the other prisoner who introduces himself as number 27 and tells Dantes he'd been trying to tunnel to the outside wall, but he miscalculated. The next day, number 27 comes through the tunnel into Dantes' cell. In chapter 16 of The Count of Monte Cristo, this other prisoner is about 50, white-haired with a long black beard. Dantes greets him enthusiastically and learns that the man has spent three years digging a massive 50-foot tunnel. Abe Faria introduces himself. He was also jailed for political reasons. Dantes suggests they tunnel to the outer wall, kill the sentry on the outer gallery, then jump into the sea and swim for land. But the Abe refuses to kill to obtain freedom, preferring to wait for an opportunity and then take advantage of it. The Abe tells Dantes he's written a book of meditations on his life using paper and ink that he made from materials in his cell, and he's been reviewing from memory as many as 150 books by the most important authors. Impressed by the industriousness of the Abe and eager to see the results of his labors, Dantes follows the Abe through the tunnel to his cell. 